Who knows on my nose? Made a punny. Hey guys, welcome back. So got a get ready with me video for y'all today and it's on this look right here. So kind of ended up being a sort of pinky, burgundy-esque sort of an eye and then kind of a very, I don't know, girly, pageanty looking lip combo. Like the lip is maybe a little bit much with the eye look, but that's okay. We're just playing with makeup today. So I used some drugstore goodies and some other random things and just some fun makeup. So if you wanna get ready with me and see this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna start with some serum and some moisturizer. This is the Derma E Vitamin C Concentrated Serum Hyaluronic Acid. And this one is the Derma E Vitamin C Renewing Moisturizer Probiotics and Roebos. So I've been using these and I really like them. I think they work nicely. I like the idea of using some kind of a treatment in the mornings, so yeah. I'm gonna apply a primer. Today I'm gonna to use the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer Blemishless. I am gonna use a CoverGirl um, foundation and I just find that it needs a little bit of primer help to stay on a little bit longer and just not get like quite as shiny throughout the day. I really like this primer. So the foundation is this one. This is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir and I wear it in 710. I'm using an IT Cosmetics like two-sided sort of a brush to apply it. I think this might be the lightest color and it's like borderline too dark for me. Like it's not, but I definitely couldn't go any darker. apply some eye primer. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. Now I'm going to do my brows. I'm going to use the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade in Blonde and then my NYX Micro Brow Brow Pencil in Taupe. And I'm just using a Sephora Brow Filler Brush. I don't think this is still around though. I'm not sure, but I really do like this brush. I'm gonna be using this palette today. This is the Maybelline The City Mini Palette and this is in Chill Brunch Neutrals. That's what it looks like. And I grabbed the wrong brush, but I do like this brush. This is the Glow Minerals Crease Brush. Normally I've been using my Cosette brush, but I'm gonna use this one today. I'm gonna to get some of this color right here. And I'm gonna apply that into my crease and transition area. Now this is a slightly more dense brush than I normally use. Um, so really what I do with that is it's great for in the crease, but when you want to kind of like blend it up into that transition area, I just lighten how much I'm pressing. So I just kind of go a little bit lighter and then it sort of like diffuses the color. I'm sure y'all know that, but that's just a little tip if more stiff brushes kind of give you trouble. That's something you could try. Now for my lid, I'm gonna take this color right here on a Sigma concealer brush. And I'm gonna plat, pat, plat. I'm gonna plat that right on my eyeball. I'm gonna pat that right on my eye. Just on kind of like the inner half. Hmm, I'm gonna try using my fingers. These are the ones in this palette that like, oh yeah, that helps. They need like a mixing medium, but I didn't remember to bring a mixing medium in here with me. So, this way y'all are getting to like see it, you know, in its true form. Which it's a pretty color, but um, it's just kind of powdery. So it like has a hard time kind of like sticking and building. I'm gonna take a small crease brush and I'm gonna get this color right here and apply that on the outer corners of my eyes. Now I'm gonna take a Beauty Junkies Pro Flat Definer brush and get some of this shade right here 
can apply that to my lower lash line. For eyeliner, too, I'm going to use this one from Laura Geller. This is the Eye Care Waterproof Eyeliner, and this is in Cafe Mocha. So I'm just going to smudge this on my upper lash line. Make it a little bit thicker on the outer corner, but then kind of a little bit thinner on the inner corner. I like these eyeliners. They blend well, they smudge well, um, but then they set and they're just good liners. I really like them. I got a set of them on QVC a while back, but they're good. They are good. And I'm just going to smudge just a smidgen with this smudgy end here. Mainly kind of like to soften the outer corners. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. Today I'm using the CoverGirl Total Tease on my upper lashes and on my lower lashes I'm going to use the Pixi Lower Lash Mascara. I do really like this mascara. I just use a lot of coats with it. But I do that with a lot of mascaras, most mascaras. But I like that the wand, you can like turn it different directions to do different things with it. So I like that there's versatility in the wand. But also the formula is nice and it builds on itself, gives good volume and length. Um, it just takes a few coats to kind of get it to look like what I'm wanting, which is, you know, I like pretty dramatic looking lashes without false lashes because those drive me crazy. Moving on to concealer, I'm going to use this NARS one. This is the Soft Matte Complete Concealer, and I wear it in Light 2 Vanilla. And I'm going to use the other side of that IT Cosmetics brush, and I'm just going to apply that. I really like this concealer. It blends really well. Um, it has good coverage. It's not like a thick, heavy, gross potted concealer. It really is just nice and creamy and blends well. This color is a little bit light, but I mean, I can make it work, you know? This is what I wear in the Radiant Creamy Concealer, but for some reason, I don't know. This one, it seems, see that, that looks pretty light. So we're gonna have to do some blending, but coverage-wise and just how it blends is so nice. Then I'm going to top that off with just a little bit of my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I wear this in NW20. It'll take down that lightness just a, just a tinge, I think. Now I'm going to set my face with my Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder and I wear it in Porcelain 10. I'm going to use an e.l.f. blush brush and a Real Techniques blush brush for this. I love this powder. I hadn't tried this for the longest time, but I really, really like it. I love it for setting. I don't have a voice right now. That's why it does sound like a toad. Don't know what's going on. Um, I really do like it. Um, I like it for setting initially, and then I like it for setting in the middle of the day too. My under eyes are looking real light right now. <laughs> This is out of order, but I'm gonna use a little bit of that concealer just in the middle part of my um, forehead to try to like balance out the lightness. I, I think I just used too much, honestly, is what happened. Because I've used this multiple times and I love it. It's just a little bit light for me, but I think the next one will be too dark. So, we're gonna make it work. But again, I love the formula. Now I'm just going to reset this again. I'm going to be using this bronzer palette from Maybelline. This is the Master Bronze by Face Studio Bronze and Highlight Kit. One of y'all asked me to swatch them all together, so it's kind of hard to do since they're all in like little separate, you know, containers. They each have their own home, which I like, but that's kind of what it looks like. I did use the highlighter last, so let me try going the other direction. So there's kind of going the other direction. 
So I don't know. I mean, I guess you could swipe a brush all across it, but there's a little, you know, look into what it would look like. Okay, I'm gonna take a little combination of these two right here on Atelium Tools. What is this, 945? And I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this to my face. I really do like this palette a lot. I love the blush palette from them. They just really blend well and they're pigmented without like being too pigmented that they're hard to work with. It's really just like a, a nice formula. A good happy medium. I'm gonna put a little bit on my neck with my Delium Tools 992 brush. For blush today, I'm actually gonna use this one from this palette and I'm just using like an angled MAC brush. Now I'll admit my, my brush probably has other other blushes on it. I'm trying to wipe it off here. Let's see if that, you know, gives you more of a true representation. But I do like that this is kind of like a, you know, blushy bronzer color. So you kind of have like everything you need in one palette, which is really cool. Okay, just so you can see this highlighter in action, I'm gonna get a little bit of it on a pencil brush and put that on the inner corners of my eyes. It's a really pretty kind of like champagne sort of a highlight color. It's really pretty. It's a pretty like light sort of a shade, but I really like it. Then for my cheek highlight, I'm gonna use this one. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome by Face Studio Metallic Highlighter, and this is in 100 Molten Gold. So pretty, oh my goodness. I'm gonna use my Beauty Junkies Pro Highlighter Brush for this. This is just an intense, beautiful gold. It's amazing. My nose itches. I must have a brush hair or a Chester hair. Who knows? On my nose. Who knows on my nose? Made a punny. For lips, I'm gonna do a little combo. So first I'm gonna start with my Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in Baby Berry. And then I'm gonna use some of my CoverGirl Melting Pout, and this is in 110. Evangelical, evangelical is the color that I have. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of this um, in the middle of my lips. This is the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer and I have it in teas. It's real light by itself. So I like to use it like in combination with something else. Ooh, I love that pink, that's so pretty. And that's like such a sweet pink. It's so pretty. So that wraps up this get ready with me. So I hope that you really enjoyed it. Please do a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you've been loving playing with lately. What are some of your favorite makeup goodies to grab for lately? I would love to know that. Let me know that down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.